We're here at the University of St. Francis, where a local professor has discovered a new drug. Dr. Buterall, can you give us some information on this new drug that you've created? Why certainly. Step over here. First of all, I have named it albuterol, after myself, of course. It will be used to control and prevent reversible airway obstruction in asthma and COPD. It will work by relaxing the smooth muscle of the bronchioles in the lungs by binding to the beta-2 receptors. This will cause the therapeutic effect of bronchodilation. It's well absorbed when given orally, and small amounts can be found in breast milk. For metabolism and excretion, it is ex extensively metabolized by the liver and other tissues. Can you show us what it looks like? Sure, step over here. This is the oral form of albuterol that I've already created. Here, I'm working on an inhaled form. What will happen is that this medication will infuse with air to form a vapor. The patient will then inhale the vapor for their treatment. Are there any side effects? The most common side effects include high blood pressure, increased heart rate, jitters, nervousness, restlessness, and tremors. It can also cause chest pain and palpitations. An unexpected or adverse side effect is a paradoxical bronchospasm. And that about sums it up. So if you don't mind, I would like to return to my experiment. Great. Thank you for your time. Albuterol is contraindicated in people with a hypersensitivity to adrenergic amines. It should be used cautiously in individuals with cardiac disease, hypertension, hyperthyroidism, diabetes, glaucoma, or seizure disorders. Excessive inhaler use may lead to tolerance and paradoxical bronchospasms. The safety has not been established for pregnant women that are near term, breastfeeding women, or children under the age of two. In older adults, there's an increased risk of adverse reactions, and they may re require a decreased dose. All of this information has been provided by the 12th edition of Davis Drug Guide. For further information, you can refer there or tune in next week for another edition.